For some people, it's music or oil painting or watercolors. In today's Carolina Moment, photojournalist Mark Poff takes us to the William Felton School of Crafts. We meet people who like to get their hands dirty with clay. Gather round. We'll do a throwing demo. Um, and so when I'm making something tall, when I center it, I'm going to make sure that I center it pretty high to begin with. I'm still going to let my uh, left hand ride on the wheel head. I'm going to put my thumb in the center. Just to get myself started, I'm going to press all the way down into that piece of clay. When I make this first pull, I can come straight up and bring that clay with me as I come. Always remember to breathe. I know that sounds silly. It's a feel of thickness. Oops. Once you can consistently make a good cylinder over and over and over again, you can make anything you want from those cylinders. Honestly, the very first time I walked into a pottery studio and the smell of the clay hit me, and that very first day I sat down at the wheel and I made a huge mess, and I said, this is it. This is, this is what I want to do. It's been something nice I can do, just a change of pace from work, from everything else that I'm doing. So, chance to be creative, kind of relax a little bit. I've really enjoyed it a lot to the point where I could see myself doing it for myself, really making some of my own things to sell. And I guess I like the feel of it, being able to shape something. I don't really have to have an exact plan when I start. Um, the clay can kind of tell me what it wants to do too. This is where you make something pretty and hope you can get it off the wheel. These look good. Wow, my luck was I would make it and drop yeah. it. That would be bad. <laughs> well, the William Felton School of Craft is located in the tiny town of Taylor's, which is in Greenville County. We have a link to their site in our Carolina Moment web story.